Hey everybody, I'll be on in just a sec, but please let me know how I sound. Is the music too loud, or am I too quiet, or is everything just right? Let me know. We're going to be on in just a sec. We have a giveaway today, by the way. I put a link in the chat for the giveaway. Um, it's also in the description of this video. But if you can get this video to 250 likes, we're going to do another giveaway next live stream. So we're going to keep the ball rolling. We've had two in a row. Can we get to three? I don't know. Maybe. We almost got 250 likes last live stream, so it could happen. So, yeah, just like this video down below. We're going to play with Jimbo for a little bit and be on in just a moment. Also, we're voting right now in the chat on what color bunny we should make first. Should we make a cyan, a white, a pink, or a purple bunny? Uh, and we'll probably be voting on a few different things throughout this live stream. All right, I'll be on in just a moment. Uh, but first, yes, it's time for us to play. Yeah, you want to play? Okay, we're going to play with Jimbo.
Alrighty, it's game time, buddy. You ready? Are you ready? Oh wait, we need to grab magnets. Is my audio on? <laughs> All right, but let's do it. Hello, everybody. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you feel me? How is everybody doing? Happy almost Easter. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the live stream. Today, we're going to be crocheting some bunnies. See, I have had this tradition going on now for at least two years, I think three, but Jules thinks it's only been two, where I've been crocheting as many bunnies as I can. Um, bunny, bonimal bunnies. Hold on right here, let me move that egg out of the way. I've been crocheting as many of these bonimal bunnies as I can before Easter. And then I take them to my parents' place and I hide them all around. I make sure that I put in little magnets in them. Yeah, this guy's got a couple of them in there. There we go. So that they can, I can hide them on places where they can like uh, connect to something metal, which makes it a little easier to hide. And so today we're going to be doing just that. We're going to crochet as many bunnies as we can in the stream. I think we'll probably get to three. Maybe we can get to four. Um, I'd like to get to four if I can, um, but we'll see. Uh, if you want to crochet along with me, here's what you need. First up, you're going to need the pattern, of course. Well, lucky for you, the pattern is actually free. I made it completely free right here at clubcrochet.com slash bunny. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to end up getting uh, Jimbo in the cat cam today, but who knows, maybe. He just hasn't been sleeping in the beanbag chair the past week for some reason. So, yeah. Um, besides the crochet pattern for the bunny, you're going to need some yarn, of course. We're going to be using worsted weight cotton yarn and 100% cotton. We're probably going to be using the colors from our seasonal kit, but uh, we're voting right now on what color you guys want me to make my first bunny. Let me turn this a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't get too loud. There we go. Um, so yeah, vote on which color you want us to make right now. Uh, pink, cyan, white, or purple. Besides the yarn, um, you're going to need a crochet hook. We're going to use a size G four millimeter crochet hook just because that's the perfect hook for the yarn that we're going to be using. If you're using different yarn, use a different hook. I mean, well, some yarns you could use a size G hook for. If you're using bigger yarn, use a bigger hook. If you're using smaller yarn, use a smaller hook. You get the gist. You know what I mean. Uh, we also need a pair of scissors for cutting stuff, a darning needle for sewing in crimped ends, uh, or hard to reach stitches, and you'll also need some magnets. Now, you don't need these magnets, but I like the magnets. I'm using super strong neodymium magnets. They're like ultra super duper strong. Uh, so I have a few here. I like to use three in each of my bunnies. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to need some safety eyes. I'm going to be using a mix between 6mm and 8mm safety eyes. Uh, and, yeah, that's everything you're going to need. Of course, you can get the pattern. And let's talk about different ways you can help support this channel. By the way, hello to the live stream. Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well. We have a few newbies in the live stream, uh, or at least newbies to the chat. So, hi Janice. Um, I thought I saw another newbie out there somewhere. Christina, hi, welcome. Mushroom Frog Crochet, I don't think I've seen you either. Hi everybody in the live stream. Uh, thank you so much for joining live. I super duper appreciate it. Uh, if you want to, while you're live, um, enter the giveaway, let's talk about that real quick and then we'll talk about how you can support this channel. We have a giveaway going on right now. See, there's a an animal in this, or I'm sorry, there's a something in this Easter egg. I wasn't supposed to say that it was an animal. That was supposed to be a hint. Um, so <laughs> all you have to do to enter the giveaway 
is click the link in the description of this video or in the chat. It's consistently going through the chat. A uh, Cooper just posted it in the chat. So enter the giveaway there and you just have to guess what's in the egg and I'm gonna choose someone at random to be the winner. I limited the choices this time. So there's not like, last time there was like 10 or 15 choices. Now there's only, I think like six or seven. So I try to make it a little easier. Throughout this live stream, I'll be giving hints. Clearly I've already given you one hint. It is an animal. So actually that is a hint, uh, I think, because I'm pretty sure I put stuff on there that wasn't an animal. So that is your first hint. It's an animal. Um, okay. What else? I think that's everything I wanted to say for you to get started. Um, let's talk about how you can support this channel if you like what's going on here. If you like what's happening here, um, the easiest, cheapest, freest way is to just like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you like what's going on, just like and subscribe. If we can hit 250 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream. So we're gonna keep that giveaway train rolling. Uh, so try to get this video to 250 likes, that'd be cool. We almost actually got the last video to 250 likes even though that wasn't even the goal. So I think we can do it. Um, if you wanna support monetarily, well, that's kind of a different story. If you wanna support monetarily, the best way is with the Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials with which there are over 300. I have a bunch of different ones, including a bunch of patterns from our newest season, Sweet Stitches. Things like our, uh, our ice cream buddies that we made last week. And here's a little, here's a little hint at what's coming out next week. We have a collaboration pattern coming out next week for this adorable Sakura Mochi. This is actually the first anybody's seeing it. Um, so I literally finished the video last night. Um, so this will be out early next week for this adorable Sakura Mochi. Uh, that was made by Sir Pearl Gray. I really, really like this pattern just because it's adorable and not what I was thinking he was going to make for the season. I was like, hey, make a sweet stitches thing. And I thought, you know, he'll make a cake or he'll make a cookie or something like that. And he made this really cute Sakura mochi, which is a rice mochi from uh, a Japanese dessert um, with this Sakura leaf that is usually salt and salted pickled salt or something. I don't know. But uh, it's really cute, and so I really like it. This is gonna keep be coming out next uh, week. It's got a few actual shocking surprises to it just about the shaping alone. Um, so I think you might like it. It's also really quick to make, obviously. Um, so that's probably the best way to support is with the Club Crochet membership. You can also purchase kits and merch in the store. We have things like pins. Here's a little cute Jimbo pin. In fact, if you win the giveaway, you're gonna be winning a pin at random. Um, it's totally gonna be up to you what pin you want. Um, there's a bunch of them though. See, boop, just a bunch of pins. I add new ones every season. In fact, if you wanna check out the next seasonal pin, it's gonna be coming out on uh, Pre-orders will start next week. This is going to be the pin for next seasonal kit. It's extra big by accident, but honestly, I kind of love how gigantic this pin is just because it's so cute. It's our little yarn ball uh, planet. Um, our next season is titled Sweet or, or Spacecrafts. So we're making space themed stuff. So I thought a little uh, yarn planet would be a lot of fun for that. Um, yeah, so our next seasonal kit's coming out very soon. Pre-orders will start next week, so I'll keep you updated there. But purchasing kits in the store is also a great way to support this channel if you'd like to. Um, and then the last way, I think, to support this channel, I think this might be the last way, is to uh, donate to the live stream. You can tip. Um, you can do that by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. If you do so, I'm gonna play something out on screen for you to say thank you so much for tipping. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, well, without further ado, adieu. Let's see what you guys have voted on for what color we're gonna start with. All right, all right. Wow, pretty pretty handedly, we have chosen to make a pink bunny, and I like that. I like that start. Okay, dokie. 
Okie dokie. We're gonna be making a pink bunny to start with. And I think what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start making this pink bunny, but I am gonna be taking suggestions on how you think I should customize this bunny. So if you have customization ideas, for example, add glasses, um, make them a space pirate, uh, uh, make it so they forgot to pay their taxes, um, make them a zombie, stuff like that. Uh, I am taking, <laughs> I am taking requests, uh, or just suggestions as we go. So one, two, three, four. I don't know if we'll do something customized for this one, but we definitely will for some of the bunnies today. Um, but yes, best ideas are accepted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's right. I think that's right. I made this bunny in the background last night for the thumbnail. I was like, oh shoot, I forgot I've hidden all the bunnies that I currently have. So I don't have any bunnies for the picture. So I had to make one last night at like 2 a.m. for the live stream picture. Yeah. Oh, a tuxedo. See? See? We got good ideas already. That's a great idea, Crescendro. By the way, how is everybody? Um, here at the Loops residence, uh, we have had COVID. We've had a COVID week, unfortunately. Luckily, somehow, I have completely dodged it. I don't know how, but I have. Uh, I never got it, but Jules had it and uh, her aunt is here and staying with us also. She also has it. So we've had kind of a sickly kind of week. I've been, uh, I haven't gotten much sleep simply because I haven't been sleeping in my bed to stay away from it as best I can. So yeah, it's been a little bit of a long week, but it's still going a-okay, honestly. Like as far as things go, it be, could be going much, much worse. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, oh, some other suggestions. Oh, Mushroom Frog Crochet is making a bunny in yellow. How cool. Summer Camp Fam is making a hippo. And Diana thinks we should add a mohawk. And actually, I think that's a great idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We can definitely add a mohawk to this first bunny. That's a super duper easy addition that I think would be really fun. Hello, Zoe, how you doing? Zoe says we should make a black and yellow striped bunny with little wings, a honey bunny. Oh my gosh. See, Zoe, what would we do without you? What, who, what would we do without you, Zoe? That's a great idea, oh my gosh. Also, hey, everybody, quick shout out to Zoe because Zoe did a very, very cool thing last week. Okay, so here's the dealio. We just did our, um, uh, or sorry, wait, hold on, let me back up. Zoe won the Club Crochet Challenge in our last season uh, for the ornaments. They made a really, really cute um, uh, shrimp ornament. It was adorable. And they won the giveaway, which meant that they won a crochet kit, uh, a seasonal crochet kit, which is kind of a big deal when you win a seasonal crochet kit because they cost like 80 bucks. It's like, it's like a, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, I goofed and never sent her it because I just completely forgot. But Zoe, even though we've emailed back and forth, she didn't like bug me about it at all. So I just totally forgot. Well, she reached out last week. I was like, hey, just so you know, I never got the seasonal kit. And I was like, ah, oh my God, Zoe, I'm so sorry. I felt so bad. But Zoe was like, no, it's okay. I didn't message you because I didn't really want it. Um, uh, I didn't I didn't really want to bug you about it and it's, it's totally cool. I was wondering if you could send this to this week's giveaway winner, Tyg. So Tyg actually got a whole seasonal kit last week for winning the giveaway in the live stream. Um, all because Zoe is amazing and uh, not only is extremely forgiving for my uh, uh, stupidity is not the right word forgetfulness obliviousness um but also because they decided to give it to tig and i just think it was really really cool 
And Zoe, I just want to say thank you again for your patience and your kindness and everything. You are the best. I really, really, really appreciate that a lot. Um, it was it was really cool of you. So thank you. Uh, Cooper, speaking of speaking of amazing people, Cooper, thank you so much for your support. You're amazing. Let's put something out on the camera for Cooper. Let's see. Actually. Hmm. I have something I want to put out, but I need something to put under it. Hold on. Let's let's see. Let's see. What can I find here? Let's go into the box of crochet. Let's see heel. Let's go with Hold on, hold on. I'm going in deep to the crochet box. Cooper, let's add something weird for you. An oldie but a goodie. Um, this is from our really old live streams that I called Monster Mondays where I crocheted a monster that I illustrated and you guys voted on it and stuff. Um, I really want to bring that back. But we're going to put this guy out for you, Cooper. I cannot for the life of me remember what we called this monster. So if anybody in the live stream remembers, um, please let me know. But this guy's super duper cute and he's out here today because of Cooper. Thank you so much for your support, Cooper. If you want to see more weird crocheted things that I've made in the past, to add out, just donate. Hi, Jimbo. Hi, buddy. Jimbo is being very, very friendly today. Yes, hello. You're very cute, bud. Okay, single crochet three, half double one. You know, it's funny, all this week, Jimbo has been so um, quiet. It's been very quiet because we've had a lot of a lot of, um, we've had a guest this week and he's just been downstairs and upstairs. And so I haven't actually seen as much from him, but of course he knows when there's a live stream. Of course he knows when there's a live stream. Don't you buddy? Yeah. 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 Oh my. Gosh, are you just falling apart or what, bud? You having trouble? Okay, I also usually like to hide this end in a sec, too. I've kind of streamlined the process for making these bunnies at this point. Oh my gosh, can you hear him screaming at me? Can you hear him? Great. Yes, hello. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, buddy. God. Um, uh, Nina, who inspired me to start crocheting? That's a good question. I actually don't, I don't, I can't think of a specific person that inspired me to crochet. I think what inspired me to crochet originally was that I, I was just getting really, really crafty in high school. I made things like books and um, a lot of mix CDs and uh, that kind of ages me, doesn't it? Um, mix CDs and uh, just uh, like art projects in general. I got really, really crafty. Um, I think this was like sophomore year. And then I saw something online that was crocheted and I was like, you can make, like I think I saw like a, like it was like a really, really simple octopus. I remember the design for it was like a ball and eight balls that you sewed onto the ball. So it was actually not a great pattern. It was very difficult to make because you had to like sew a bunch of things together. But I just thought, whoa, you can like make your own toys out of yarn. It, that was just like such a crazy idea to me. Uh, and I just thought it was so cool that you could make toys out of yarn. So I think that was the inspiration initially. Um, and then after I made that first, uh, item, I just kind of went, I, I didn't use any patterns after that, uh, for a long time. I just kind of like started making stuff up. I was like, okay, well, what if I did this here? And what if I did that there? 
I think within a week I designed a beanie. Um, I figured out how to do the half double crochet before the half double, like without like learning what the half double crochet was. I had to learn it backwards, you know? I had to go in and be like, okay, what is this stitch where I yarn over and then go into the stitch and then pull something through and then pull through all three of them. Um, that was actually, I think, the second stitch that I had like learned. Um, but yeah, I think that was how it started. It was, I mean, so long ago now, this is 17 or 18 years ago I started crocheting. Um, so it's, it's, been a while but who guys who started you guys crocheting i mean or not started you guys crocheting but what inspires you to crochet or what inspires you to make things in general i don't know really what inspired me to make things i just really like making things i i really like making people gifts honestly that's my um I, I would say that's probably my love language is, is making gifts for people. So I think that probably is like really where the catalyst starts for me liking crochet so much is that I just really like to make things for people. Okay. We're going to get this white yarn here. Um, okay, so we're going to add a mohawk... Or some kind of, you know, let's just let's just say we're gonna add a hairdo. You guys give me other hairdo suggestions, and we can vote on which kind of hairdo to make. So we've got a mohawk. I need four hairdos total. Four hairdos total. Try to make them somewhat simple, or or and they I guess they don't need to be hairdos, but four easy things that I can add to this after it's already been sewn closed. So things like hair, um, glasses. Uh, cosmetics in general so like adding um, you know freckles or something like that would be would be doable after the fact and we can vote on what to do for that also if you guys have any suggestions for how you feel I should make the eyes should we use eight millimeter eyes or six millimeter eyes today for this one well we'll probably switch it off for each bunny but for this one specifically what color eyes or what size eyes should we make should we make them really tiny or should we make them more googly and big okay so we've been playing around this I've been playing around this week with um, some different kinds of yarn I've been playing around with uh, trying to figure out what our next seasonal kits are gonna be I've got the next two pretty solidly planned out. In fact, they're on like I they are they have been ordered and are on the way so that I can get them shipped out. But then after that, um, I do know what the theme is after our so we have season five starting in a couple of weeks, and then we'll have season six after that in the summer, and then I know what season seven is, that'll finish up the year. It's season eight that I'm like, what do I do for season eight? I've got a few ideas in mind and y'all have given me some really good suggestions. I just don't know which one to go with. Yeah, Jimbo, which one should I go with? Currently I've been like really, I've been really leaning on burbs. I'm not gonna lie. I've been really like, I think it'd be really fun to bring burbs back. Um to finish up the year kits. But I don't know, I'm kind of torn because also I want to do puppets. Also, I really want to do monsters and I want to do like, I don't know. There's just, I want to, I just, there's so many things I want to do, but I, I really miss the burbs. And in the season before that, we're gonna get back into bonimals a lot. This is a bonimal, by the way. If you don't know what a bonimal is, they're these little cute crocheted critters that uh, are pretty easy to make and honestly pretty addicting to crochet so we're going to be coming back to bonimals in the fall uh, for our season there and so i thought if we're getting back into bonimals then we gotta maybe get back into burbs after that i don't know 
How long? Uh, Samantha, I do not understand that question. <laughs> Who crochets every, do every day? <laughs> I crochet every day. I think most people crochet every day. Hey, thanks for the little hearts. I appreciate that. Oh, cool. You guys have given me suggestions on the hats, too. So we got a top hat. Maybe we could do like a bowl or oh, a bunny, a ducky hat. What's a ducky hat? A bow tie. I like a, I like a bow tie. Okay, I, I really like a bow tie. Okay, let's keep crocheting though. After this bunny, uh, we'll give out our second hint. I think I've got like four hints really, and they're pretty simple hints. So maybe I can come up with some uh, like better hints. Let's see. I, you know, what? I can Google some hints actually. Let's let's Google hints while I'm on the stream. I think I could do two things at once. Famous last words. There we go. Oh, that's an interesting fact. I did not know that. What if I did a chef bunny? I love a chef bunny. A f an American flag tattoo? That would be really difficult. That would be crazy. How long do I crochet before a break? Good question. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, oh, they're asking Mushroom. Mushroom said that they crochet for maybe about five to 15 minutes before they take a break. I would say I probably crochet for, sometimes I crochet for up to an hour before I really take a good break. A huge cowboy hat. I do like a cowboy hat idea. Might be hard to do with the, I, especially a big one would be really hard to do with uh, the ears and how tiny this bunny is. But I probably could do a tiny cowboy hat. So mohawk, top hat for sure should go in there for the vote. Um, bunny hat is fun. Or not bunny, a bunny hat. Diana already entered the guess for what's in the egg. Ooh. What did you think it was? Don't worry, I won't spoil anything. Ooh, do you hear that finger crack? That was crazy. Oh yeah, what's a ducky hat? Is that like um is that like a like a bucket hat? Is that a ducky hat? I need to stand up straighter. I realized yesterday, I was like, oh, why does my back hurt so bad? And I was like, oh, right, because I'm freaking the hunchback of Notre Dame over here, just like, eh, crochet. <laughs> I need to stand up straight. The frog song. The frog song. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you are the first one to guess it or the last one to guess it. You'll still be entered to win uh, regardless as long as you get the answer correct. So feel free to take your time. Ooh, a mullet. Ooh, a mullet might be funny. That might be really funny. I, I, like, where you're, I like where your brain's at. Can we crochet a cat next? I'll add a cat into the roster for our next uh, wave of Bonimals, but I don't think today we're going to be making a cat because I, the goal here is to make as many bunnies as we can. So we're going to try to do all bunnies today. Oops, all bunnies. Okay, speaking of, it's time to add our face. I saw most people suggesting 8mm, I think, in the chat. We had one, two... I think we had three people saying eight millimeter only. Yeah, we had most people saying eight millimeter. So we're gonna go with that today for our eyes. And our first one that I made here, it's kind of looking inward. So I'm gonna try to make this one looking outwards and we'll use our eight millimeter eyes. So 
So this one's eight. And this one's eight. Oh my gosh, guys, this week, I haven't printed them yet because we've had like COVID and stuff. And the downstairs is a hazardous area right now for me, especially since I haven't gotten it. But I have, um, with my friend's help, designed a bunch of different eyes for me to um, 3D print. And I'm very excited. Um, they're actually, none of them are eyes. They're all like horns and antlers and things like that, that I'm gonna print out in white. Um, and I might paint some of them just to like give it a shot. But I basically wanted to try to make some different kinds of 3D printed uh, options here. There we go. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. You look crazy. <laughs> I love making them look crazy. Ooh, a crown. I like a crown. I do like a crown. Um, yeah, so... I've made a bunch of 3D printed designs that I'm going to print this week to get them started. Um, essentially what I did was I created a 3D design so that it has like basically this, this back part of an eye, like the little clicking mechanism, and I can change the top to be whatever I want it to be. So I started by making like unicorn horns and stuff like that. Hopefully I'll have some next week that we can look at in the live stream um, because a unicorn horn actually would be a good addition to one of these bunnies. Um, okay, well, we have our eyes on there. Let's go ahead and add our little teeth. It's funny, I usually like doing the, the teeth before I add the nose on so that the nose is sewn over the teeth, but it always looks so silly when I just add in the teeth. Because he's like, what, what is going on with this like freakazoid? <laughs> go Ooh, ivy um the only hint so far that you have missed is that it is an animal um i've actually been looking up facts during the stream that i can give you as extra hints so i'll go ahead and let's see let's see let's keep looking through this whoa really interesting Yeah, I'm, I'm curious of what hints I can give that won't give it away completely. Because, you know, we don't want to give the, the whole thing away right away. See, so this is what it looks like when just the tooth is sewn on. It kind of looks like a, like a bird or something. Looks really, really weird and funny. So then we're going to sew on our, teeth, our, our nose over those teeth. And that really, that really brings it home. Um, okay, so we got Mohawk. We've got a mullet as an option. Um, a crown. I like the crown idea. King Bunny, Queen Bunny. Um, the next one we're going to make is definitely going to be a Honey Bunny because I think that is too good of an idea to pass up. Okay, go ahead and double knot this. All right, we've got our little nose here, so, or our mouth. What do I call this, a snout? I don't really know what I call that. Um, next, we want to add a nose. I'm just gonna use yellow yarn for the nose. I think it'll be like, the cleanest looking on this pink you know usually I use pink but I think that yellow will just look a little bit cleaner a little more obvious too what about Bigfoot's foot on his head wait 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 what about uh, Kershandro said we should make Bigfoot's foot on 
our bunny's head. I don't know about that. <laughs> that is a that is a crazy suggestion, Grishandra. <laughs> An Easter basket. That one, that could work. Easter basket could go well. There we go. Just a cute little simple nose. A little yellow nose. Zoe's making a Bigfoot right now. That's awesome, Zoe. What kind of Bigfoot are you making? Is it is it um is it a pattern from who's that person you make patterns from all the time, Zoe? That I I really like their work. It looks extremely complicated, so I've never made anything. It's the one that um you used their base design for the cactus, the booty cactus. Um, I can't remember what that artist's name is though. Is it is it a design they made for Bigfoot? Because I could see them doing a really cute Bigfoot. Or is it our Bigfoot? Maybe it's maybe it's Bigfoot Bobby. Could be. What could be? All right. Now we're adding on them ears. And what I love about this pattern is that once you've done the face. You're pretty much done with the whole piece. You just have two more rounds to make. To crochet. It's pretty easy. Easy squeegee. From Manic Yarn, a semi-realistic Bigfoot. Oh, that's cool. I've never... I don't think I've ever heard of Manic Yarn, so I'll have to check them out. I've been meaning to reach out to a few of the people that you crochet uh, projects for. Uh, or... You know, you crochet their projects because I really like their designs. I want to start to like collaborate with more um, other crocheters. Uh, in fact, actually, I talked yesterday with another crocheter uh, out there that is doing a collaboration for our next seasonal kit, um, the space kit uh, that I'm really excited about. Actually, you probably have heard of her before. Her name is um, Curious Papaya. Um, her name is Amy, but she goes by Curious Papaya on Instagram. I reached out, uh, she is an, a San Francisco local actually, so, which I used to live in San Francisco. So I reached out a long time ago and then I totally, like, you know, COVID happened and stuff, so. But I finally got things going and we've got a really, really cute pattern that she designed that is coming out in our next season. Um, probably not till like May, but yeah. If you know who she is and you follow her on Instagram, you should uh, tell her, it, you know, comment on one of her things saying like hey i heard you're doing a pattern for club crochet i can't wait to see it i'm sure she would really be stoked to see that yeah i kind of crocheted around something so i'm trying to fix it there we go there we go i'm just trying to get these knots through i crocheted so tightly because i wasn't really paying attention Sunshine said they made 12 mini space things that are one to two inches big. Oh my gosh, what things did you make? Let me guess, let me guess. We got a star, I'm sure. Maybe a spaceship. Uh, maybe a UFO. I could see you making a UFO really tiny. Did you use tiny yarn or did you just make them really tiny, like use really tiny patterns? Or probably a mix of both realistically, huh? Who knows? Who knows? You know what? I'm not going to... I usually pull this through the top to give it a little tuft of hair, but we're going to add something to the top of this guy, so we don't really need to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that close. We'll use that for stuffing later. Okay, well, the face of our bunny is made. Let's keep crocheting. We only got a couple more rounds. I'll be done with this one in just a sec, and then we can vote on what to add to it. Actually, you know what? We should get that vote going. Nina, do I ever miss the bench? I desperately miss the bench. Desperately. Good question. Okay, what to add to this bunny? So we got mohawk, I like that one. Top hat, that was fun. Um, I liked crown, and then we had one more good one, but I can't remember what it was, crown. Top hat, mohawk,
We could do a bow. <laughs> the woggles. I miss the woggles. I have them actually. They're all they're all over here. Um, okay, wait, wait. A dolly do one with do the next bunny with six millimeter. Oh, with one eight millimeter that's I like that idea, Nina. Like a crazy looking one. I like that. Um, okay, wait. Okay, let's do, for the last, get, uh, let's do a bow tie. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and vote now on what you want me to add to this bunny. Um, wait, someone had something, someone said something about collabing with crochet me zaddy oh that's a great idea i i've actually reached out and have tried to get a collaboration on the books with him but he's really hard to get a hold of um so yeah i mean we've talked back and forth and we've tried to figure something out but it just hasn't ever worked out uh so yeah I, i'm actually currently in limbo with him i last reached out to him like a few weeks ago and have been waiting for him to reach out he He's he's one of those people that like like uh you know when we start chatting it goes really fast and then it goes for like months between chats cuz uh I think he's just a very busy guy just like me I'm we're, we're busy people Do I have any tips on selling crochet on Etsy? I do. I have a few tips on selling um Oh, you know what? It was the basket, Diana. Oopsies, I forgot. See, I couldn't think of what it was, that last one. Oh, well. Um, selling on Etsy. Some tips. Some tips for selling on Etsy. First tip is um, good pictures. That is definitely the best tip. See, on Etsy, you have competition. Like, a lot of competition. In fact... Right now, Etsy's going through this thing right now where they've allowed basically like bots and AI to kind of take over their um, website. So the competition is just getting more and more like chaotic. So my tip on selling on Etsy is um, if you're gonna do it, uh, then you need to have really good pictures. And you need it to be very clear, like give it a personal touch basically. Like make it very clear who you are and that you're a real person and that you um, are really making this stuff because I think that the biggest problem on Etsy right now is I don't know who's real and who's not because they have, it's like, it feels like Amazon now. Like I go on Etsy and it's just a bunch of like whole like drop seller accounts. Does anybody else feel like that? Because I have such a hard time finding, like, anything good to buy on Etsy now. Like, not, like, anything, but it's much more difficult. Um, and as a seller on Etsy, it's much more difficult to make sales recently. Like, um, I have a friend that also sells on Etsy, and he was saying that, like, his sales have dropped significantly in the past year because of the new programs that they put through, so... And there's stolen patterns. Oh my gosh, there's so many stolen patterns on Etsy and everywhere. Yeah, it's it's definitely a it's a mess. It's a mess, Metsy. Some patterns are definitely nice. Yeah, that's the thing. You gotta like really like siphon through recently. At least that's what I've been finding for myself. I wonder if, who feels similarly. Christina. Yes, can we get a hint? You gotta leave in 20 minutes. Can we get another hint? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Um, I'm gonna go with one of these hints that I've been actually looking up while we've been um, doing this. And my hint here is that uh, this might be a fact that you may not know about the animal that is in this uh, egg here, but 
One interesting fact about them is that they are very smelly. They stinky. Now, I didn't, honestly, I didn't really know that um, before looking up these facts. So that might not be the best hint in the world, but it's... I don't know. It's a, it's not a bad hint. If you know that these are stinky, you're, you might be like, oh, wow, I know exactly what it is. Um, I'll try to give another one in just a sec, too, um, after we finish this bunny. So hopefully we finish it before you got to rock and roll. Did I miss a stitch? No, I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. I don't think so. Oh my God. It's so frustrating, Koshandro. Yeah. It, see, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. So on Etsy right now, they have a really bad bot problem, uh, an AI problem, and they have not done anything to deal with it at all. I have reported so many different Etsy accounts for being AI generated, um, but they don't care. Um, and that big problem is that there's a bunch of AI generated patterns on Etsy right now. Just people selling patterns that they made using AI, which means that it's not a real pattern at all, hasn't been tested, the pictures are fake, everything's fake about them. So that's a huge, huge ish issue on Etsy right now. Uh, and why, honestly, I've been losing a lot of trust as a seller on Etsy, and I've been losing a lot of trust as a buyer on Etsy, and I think they have a really big problem, so yeah. Um, ooh, the fox crochets. How are you today? Hope you're having a great day. Um, how am I? I'm doing great. I'm doing A-OK. -okay. Um, <laughs> I don't want to give anything away. Uh, what are we making? We're making bunnies to hide at my parents' house. Um, every Easter, I like to crochet as many bunnies as I can and then hide them around my um, parents' house. It drives my mom crazy uh she just starts searching all over the house for bunnies which is so fun because when i was a kid they would do easter egg hunts for me uh me and my brother and like our whole neighborhood they would do gigantic easter egg hunts with like hundreds of kids at our house um so my mom really likes doing or like likes hosting easter egg hunts so now as an adult it's really fun to um uh, to you know kind of do the same thing to her and it kind of drives her a little bit crazy but I think that's what's so funny about it so um, okay wait one two three four five six okay we are done with the crocheting bit for this bunny let's go ahead and stuff it up I'm gonna stuff it with magnets by the way because I like to give myself more options for hiding these um, and by adding little magnets in the rear I can hide them like on anything that's metal so it's really easy for me to like you know hide them places watching from the Philippines well hey how you doing Bernadette my aunt's name is Bernadette Oh, you're right. It is the day before April Fool's Day. Oh my gosh, you're genius, Ivy. Wow, I should have said something about that. That's so funny. Thank you for reminding me of that. All right, so I'm going to add three of these. There we go. Three of these big magnets in here. Um, I just put them in the bum like that. And then sew it closed. That's it. That's all. I gotta order more of those magnets. I'm running low. The Fox Horses is watching from Mexico. Well, hola. Como estas? Muy bien? Gracias, usted? Look, I know some Spanish. You know, that's my, that's my California Spanish. That's what I've learned from just living where I live. I also know... Conejo. You guys know what Conejo means? I'll give you a hint. It's what we're holding right now. It means rabbit. I live in the Conejo Valley, so there's a lot of rabbits here. Uh, 
Okay, so we got our first bunny and now we need to add something to it. I'm also gonna use this magnet on the bum just to like make sure that the magnet is working. Sure is. Okay, so what did you guys vote for? We voted for a mohawk. Hell yeah. The chat loves mohawks. I love that you guys love mohawks. All right, so we're gonna do, let's do a purple mohawk. Um, actually, while I do that purple mohawk, let's vote on what, oh no, wait, we're making a honey bunny next because Zoe's a genius. So we're gonna do that next. So we don't need a vote on that. We can, I suppose, vote on a name for this guy. If you guys have good suggestions for names, let me know. What size magnets do you use? I am using, oh wait, you're making some bride and groom Chubzillas. Oh my gosh, Ivy, that is cute. For your best friend's wedding this summer, she's obsessed with them and I want them to hold hands. I personally am using 12 millimeter um, uh, magnets. They're 12 millimeter by two millimeter. Uh, but what you're really looking for here is less the size of the magnet and more the type of the magnet. You're looking for neodymium magnets. That's how they're, that's what they're called online. Um, hold on, sorry, I just need to think for a second. So if the loop comes out this way, yeah, okay, so we're gonna go in through this way and out through that way, like that. Um, that's what you really wanna look for though, is neodymium magnets. Those are like the super duper strong magnets that I use and uh, they'll keep things better. Hi, Jimbo. What, are you upset because we're not giving you attention? Oh no. Jimbo, don't jump up there. No, 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 no. He, he wants to unplug the uh, microphone. And I don't like that idea, bud. Hey, Jimbo, stop it. Hey, em what, Emily, Emily Lou Loops. Hey, I'm a Lou Loops. How are you doing? You're making a cactus right now, that's cool. Oh, Hop would be a great name for the bunny. Yeah, what Zoe said. You can get magnets even smaller than the ones that I'm using and they're still super duper strong. Yeah, it's these super crazy neodymium magnets. They are wild. Like, honestly, when I try, when I use them, I'm like, this should not be as strong as it is. But it, it do be like that. Oops, I kind of did this one backwards. I gotta do that one again. I'm just adding these, this mohawk on by the way, like the kind of the hard way, but whatever. It's just, it's like, it's like the easier way. It's like the lazier way, but it's a little bit more difficult than using my crochet hook. But there we go. We got two going on there. Let's keep adding more. I'm going to add a couple right here. My gosh, this cat is going wild. Hey, no, let's not jump up there. Because, well, I love you too, buddy. Every now and then you might see me in the camera go like, like that, like kind of jolt forward. It's because Jimbo is headbutting the back of my legs and <laughs> knocking out my knees. He really likes to do that. It's adorable. It's just very distracting. Okay. That's pretty good. Hopefully we can get this mohawk staying, standing up straight. I'm pretty sure I can though. We're going to do one more of this. Add a little bit. Just give it a little bit more. I think this will be the last one for our mohawk. And then we can get started on our honey bunny. Gosh, I love that idea. 
Hopefully I have enough yarn at hand. Pretty sure I do though. There we go. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and hold it up like this. And I'm gonna cut it diagonal like this. So it's longer on the front than it is on the back. There we go. And should I split the yarn? Yeah, let's split the yarn. So that it's more like fuzzy-ish. Get this out of the way. Like that. There we go. Okay, let's do another hint for our giveaway. So, so far we have our hints are just that they are an animal. They're very stinky, um, which was surprising to me. Which, I, I mean, I guess it does make sense when you find out what the animal is. Um, the next hint is that they are a carnivore. So they are a carnivore. They like to eat meat. Stinky animal, like to eat the meaty. Okay. There's our mohawk bunny. And I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? That is pretty cute. And of course our magnet on the bottom so that we can add it. Oopsies, let's try this again. I'll do it like this. Da 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 da. We got our magnetic bunny in the background. All right, let's get going on our next bunny. We need our yellow yarn. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna need to go grab yellow yarn. I've got black. I, I think this is all the black yarn I'll really need because we're only gonna basically do one or two stripes. Um, and yeah, we just need yellow yarn. So let me go grab that real quick. Check out where's the yellow yarn. Okay, we got our yellow yarn, we got our black yarn, and we're gonna take a sip of coffee. Yesterday, the Fox Crochets learned how to make rugs with a punch needle. That's cool. That's really cool. How does that work? That's so fun. Okay, we're gonna make a honey bunny now. I think the basic gist for the honey bunny, by the way, here, let's use this bunny as our example. Sorry. Hey, hey, uh, Cooper, did you name our big monster here? He needs, he needs a classic Cooper name. Which means basically someone else from the chat comes up with it. <laughs> Just teasing you. <laughs> that laugh was funny. Um, okay, so... I think that basically how I'm gonna do this is this round right here and this round right here are gonna be black. I think that's the only big difference. It's gonna be yellow with those two rounds being black and then obviously some B wings in the back. So that'll be round, after you do the eyes, it'll be one. And then that round after that'll be one. Yeah. So I actually think that's not gonna to be too crazy. Let's Let's just get started on it though. Should be pretty easy. Like, like pretty basic. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you for having a good sense of humor, Cooper. One, two, we're gonna skip two and start the next one. Ivy is designing a cardigan for a friend using a swirl granny square. I'm done with the back panel and one of the front panels and about to half on 
and about half on the other front panel. Wow, Ivy, dude, that must be, that's a big project. You must really like this friend. That's a huge project. I, I honestly, I've never made a cardigan before. I really want to make a cardigan. I never have made one, but that is just a wild, that's a lot of work to do. <laughs> Okay, so I really like Mushroom Frog's idea in the chat. They say that we should make a crazy rabbit with one six millimeter and one eight millimeter eye with an innocent looking bunny on top of the crazy at rabbit. And I really like the idea of the crazy rabbit. I don't know if I could do the double bunny. Maybe we can come up with like a mini Garumi bunny, but um, I'm gonna do, I think a crazy, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Camera. I think a crazy rabbit would be really fun to do on the next um, bunny because I don't really, I think this one's already gonna have a lot of character to it um, being the honey bunny, but uh, so I don't think we need to make this one crazy on top of that, but I really like the idea of making the next one crazy. And I don't know if the next one will be our last one or not. So just giving you that heads up too. Uh, this one won't be our last. We've got at least at least two more bunnies in us, though. Zoe is such a fast crocheter. You make such big projects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll skip it to two. Go from there. Hey, by the way, sorry I haven't gotten the next season going just yet. Like I know I, I know a lot of people have been asking about the pre-orders and stuff for our next seasonal crochet kit. Um, I'm sorry I haven't gotten it going yet. I just haven't gotten the chance to get all the pictures that I want is really the gist of it. And the next season doesn't start till mid-April anyhow, so I was kind of like, well, it's okay if, as long as I can get it, the pre-order up by, you know, the start of April. So the pre-order should be up next week. Um, and uh, as well as, like, you know, what's going to be in that kit. Okay. We got their ears. Let's get their little schnout. Once I get going on these, by the way, I can really like start to fly through them. Once you make one, and that's honestly, I think that is what's so great. Why I like these patterns so much is that once you make one of these bonimals, it's like so easy to make a second one and a third one and a fourth one. It's like, it, I don't know. It's just, it's just really addicting to crochet these. I did, Kroshandro. Kroshandro said, t uh, wrote, you, this read wrong, but I read it as you read this wrong. My brain did the fixy fix thing. Okay. Yeah, that was a real, that was a real brain tickler okay we got that done now we need our teeth and uh some b wings let's see how do we do our b wings you know what i might wait no i can make the b wings first i can make the b wings now i just don't know how big to make them is my only problem but you know what i think i can try a few different things i had jimbo at my feet for a second but i don't know where he went Ooh, I heard that there's a new Stardew Valley update. Actually, I think you guys were talking about that in the last live stream or the stream before. How is it? Is it a good update? What did they add? Tell me everything. Itchy eyeball. Um, next we're going to be making our bunny, our bee wings rather. 
So for our B wings, let's just, I'm just going to do them pretty easy, actually. I was going to try to do something fancy, but eh. Meh. I'd rather have more time to make another one. So one, two, do, do. I think I'm just going to do double crochets. Because the B wings will be sewn on from like here to like here. And here to here. So it'll be like boop and boop. So I think what we'll do, that'll be a single, or maybe actually a half double, double, double. That'd be long enough. Now let's do one more. Okay, so skip two. We'll do a double crochet. And another double crochet. And let's do a third double crochet. Like that. And then a half double crochet in the last one. Let's see how that looks. Is this gonna be too long for a B-wing? What do you think? Is that too long? No, I think that's just right. I actually think that's perfect. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Simple but effective and easy to replicate. Okay, look at that. There's our B-wing. Put that to the side, do another one. Oh, happy birthday, Nina. Nina said that their birthday was three days ago. Happy belated birthday. I hope you had a great day. Uh, you thought I was streaming at 9 p.m. Amy. What made you think we were streaming at 9 p.m., Amy? I usually, I, I, I pretty much always stream at 1 p.m. So, one, two, oh wait, so half double, 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 double. That's what it was, right? Three double crochets, one half double, yes. Half double, done, two, three, and then two chains to get started. Yeah. Skip the two and double. And double. Okay. Then our next half double right there. Perfect. Chain one. Okay, so we got all the parts now for our honey bunny. Now we just need to crochet it. We'll probably do a black nose, right? What do you think? Black nose for the honey bunny? Probably. Probably. We're gonna go quick on this one because I know what I'm doing, three. And I'm actually gonna try crocheting a little looser because I've been crocheting very tightly. One, two, three, four, five and six, which I think crocheting looser is gonna make things a little bit easier for me in the long run. One, two, and then this time I actually can pull this through since we're not gonna be adding anything to the top of their head. So I don't have to like, I can have a little tuft of hair at the top of our bunny's head. Okay, three, there we go, switch over. I wanted to live stream simultaneously today on TikTok, just so that I could like gauge to see how things would go and I have my like camera here so I can do like a double live stream, but I just didn't have the energy to get things set up in time. 
I've also been really considering starting a Twitch channel so that we could live stream on Twitch also. And I know I've said that a million times. I'm sure a lot of people are in the chat like, yeah, Lou, you've talked about this a million times. Why don't you just do it? I just didn't have the, again, just didn't have the energy this week. But I've been really wanting to do that. Colors. Bright. And actually, we can just cut this. Bring that to the side. And keep on crocheting on. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you another hint for the giveaway, and then I got to go to the bathroom quick uh quick hint um okay so we got the hints for the giveaway are that it is an animal they are kind of stinky they are carnivores and let's go with the fourth hint being they are a mammal which might have already been understood but they're a mammal all right i'm gonna be real quick i'll be right back i just gotta go bathroom real quick All right, I'm back, but look at this cat. Just look at him. He's decided, I don't want to be in the cat cam. I just want to be in this cute little spot over here, actually. Gosh, he's so cute, though. Let's see, can I switch the camera so that you can see him consistently? I'll do this. If I do that, and then I switch back, yeah, there's our cat cam. We can we can still watch the Jimbo. There we go. That's perfect. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. All right, let's get back to crocheting our bunny. 
Uh, and don't forget, we want to do... Okay, we have one more round, and then we want to switch to black. I almost forgot about the stripes. We can hear me. Okay, great. Uh, you try the seasonal kit, and it's so soft. You're definitely going to buy cotton from now. Oh, Tyg, that's so cool. I'm so glad you got that seasonal kit. I really think that was just the coolest thing ever again to Zoe. Uh, thank you so much for being so awesome and donating your kit to someone. It was just very cool. And I know Ty super duper appreciated it. And it's just, it's just so cool. One, two, three, four. Five, and then two here. One, and two. One, and then we're gonna halfway do this one because we need to change colors now. I'm just gonna full on change to black. Usually I do like a perfect stripe method or something, but I'm not, I'm just not feeling it. I'm feeling like whatever, let's just change colors, make this easier. I'd rather go quick and be done, you know, like make another bunny than take some sweet time to make this. So we're gonna make it a little rough in the back, but it's gonna be hidden by by wings anyhow too, so it's whatever. It's it's just whatever. Three four and then another increase. We should have dance party breaks. Dance party. One, two, three, four, five, six, and an increase? Is that right? I just made this. You know, you'd think you'd remember. Yeah, six, and then increase. Okay. Oops. All right, switch back over to a yellow. I'm just gonna let the black float there as well. I'll just keep crocheting. Because we're gonna switch just back over to it anyhow. But yeah, see, it's, it's going to leave like a pretty noticeable jog there in the yarn. But that's pretty much exactly where our wings are going to go. So, whatever. And whatever. I mean, we'll see. Maybe it'll be worse of a problem than I think. And then I'll be like, oh, I kind of wish I changed colors better. But... Okay, I believe this is my last round of increasing. Yeah, six, then increase. How many modis did I already make? I already made one. I've just made this one right here. I made this one yesterday for the picture, uh, for the thumbnail of the live stream. Um, but yeah, I've only made the one so far today. Uh, but I think four, if I can get one more after this, so we have four to hide there, that would be pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that would be a pretty good start. We're gonna switch back over the black yarn. Bam, bam, never there. Let's let this one float. And oopsie, poopsie, doopsie. All right, all right. One bunny milk crochet so that they made one bunny, but they got 25 more to go. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Uh, Nina, how do I recommend getting faster at crochet? That's a great question. Actually, I should totally make a video tutorial or a video on this. I'm um, like the, you know, five tips for crocheting faster. I will say the first way to crochet faster that I know will help you crochet faster is being able to crochet without stitch markers. Um, I think that is like by far the fastest, the, the quickest thing you can do to make your crochet quicker is just not having to use stitch markers. And the way to do that is by being able to recognize the difference between an increase and a regular single crochet. Uh, so learn how to tell the difference between a single crochet and an increase and that'll help you get way, way faster at crochet by not having to ever um, uh, use a stitch marker. So you don't ever have to like stop, really. You can just keep going after the end of each round. That I think will help a whole lot. Um, so that's tip numero uno. Anybody else have good other um, tips on how to crochet faster? Another tip I would say is uh, if you're making amigurumi specifically and you're not already using the spoon grip, that's the grip I'm currently using, and you're crocheting like this, knock it off. Um, I mean, you can crochet like this, like it does work, but it's much more difficult it, and way, way slower, uh, in my opinion, specifically with amigurumi. If you're making a blanket, it's the exact opposite. Um, use the pencil grip for that. The reason is when you're working with amigurumi, you usually want to be able to control your tension um, to make it a little bit tighter. That's usually the case when it comes to amigurumi. So you um, you usually want something that you can have a bit of a tighter grip, which would be the spoon grip over the, um, the pencil grip. So there's your little fact there. Um, look at that. Isn't that cute? We got the stripes in there. I just made them really simple. Yeah. Oh, metal hooks with a rubber grip. Absolutely, use the right hook for the job. Um, that's a really good tip. Thank you, Kershandra. That's a great great point. Um, yeah, send the rug on Discord, Fox Crochets. I'd love I'd love to see what um, how that works. Um, Goblin Takeover has not been going well, uh, honestly. I'll, I'll get through that in just a second. Um, practice, great tip there, Fox Crochets. You know, we gotta write these down. Hold on, let me write these down so that I remember later to make a video on this. Cause this is a great idea for a video. The tips so far were, um, uh, learn, uh, to not use, not, use stitch markers. I think that's a great tip. Um, uh, use the right grip. Uh, use a crochet hook, um, metal crochet hook with handle. I think that's a really good tip. What was the other ones? Uh, Fox Crochet had a good one. Practice. Practice. That's gonna get a star because that's a really good tip. Any other good tips? Ah, oh, great tip, Zoe. Um, uh, so don't use videos. Don't crochet while watching vids do use audio podcast etc that's a great tip if you got any other tips for how to crochet faster let me know in the chat i'm going to add all these to a I'm gonna make a video tutorial for this because I think this is a great tips video tutorial. Um, memorize the pattern, that's a great one. I'm gonna put that one in there. Memorize the pattern.
If anybody else has got any other ones, let me know. I'll add them to the list. All right, let's keep on crocheting on. I'm going to finish up. Chains fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Practice chains, basically. Um, use patterns. Yeah, yeah. Videos. Learn to do it without looking and figure out the best way to hold your yarn. Yeah, that's a great tip. Yeah. Use one stitch most of the time. Yeah, that's a good, that's a, yeah, that's a good tip too. Okay, let's keep crocheting. I'm gonna do, let's do six millimeter eyes this time and let's have them facing inwards. So inward facing six millimeter eyes. That's our goal. I actually think I have some rogue six millimeter eyes in this eight millimeter eye bottle. Yeah, I've been trying to get rid of them. So this will be a good opportunity. There's one. Is there any more in here? Yes, I see one. There's, where'd it go? At one point I was like, I'm just gonna put a bunch of different kinds of eyes in here. But then I was recording a video tutorial and I was using this bottle and I grabbed two of what I thought were eight millimeter eyes, but one was actually a 10 millimeter eye. And I had to crochet with like one eye that was really big, one eye that was really tiny. It was so silly. Hi Jimbo. Are you done staring out the window? Yeah, now you want to lay at our feet. Okay, well, you're cute. I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiggle. This eye does not want to go in there. There we go. Make way for this eye, please. Ooh, funky smell. That's a good tip. Yeah. Take breaks between your crochet. You're going to get worn out, basically, is what you're saying. There we go. That looks pretty good. We're gonna do another one right here. There's a helicopter flying over our house right now, like really close. We'll do the other one right here. Noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a Dalek. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, keep count. Oh, that's a good one, too. You know what? Let me write a few more of these down because you guys have some good more tips. So keep count. I like that one. Hold on. We had some other good ones. Let me let me go back for a second. Um, take breaks. Take breaks. Um, between. projects look at that we almost got 10 let's see if we can get let's see if we can get to 10 never switch the brand of yarn you're using or else you will have to get used to your new yarn okay that's interesting yeah uh safety tip okay use special gloves to prevent carpal tunnel or arthritis yeah yeah okay twiz i i see where you're going with that um how do we say that I guess it's like, um, I guess it's like, uh, use, um, don't crochet and drive. <laughs> Great tip. Um, helicopter, helicopter, uh, smooth nails. Oh, interesting. I've never, yeah, that's an interesting tip, Amy. 
Um, but you do want some nails. You know, you don't want to have no nails while you crochet. It, it's easier to crochet with nails a little bit, just so you can grab things. Um, wait, so what was that? It was, um, um, use gloves slash yarn holders. Um, to prevent ouchies. I'll get, I'll know what that means. Okay. If we can get a really good last tip, if you guys have any ideas for a last tip, let me know. If not, I'll come up with something later. Um, okay, we're gonna add our little eyes now. I mean, our, our, our face. Yeah. Okay. Wish I had the I wish I had the chat like right. You know, maybe I can actually do it. Let me see. Maybe if I just spin this around like this. And then if I can move the chat over like this. Oops. And I put this over here. Yeah, that's the goal. See, I want the chat closer to the camera. That's what we want. Okay. I will say it's a little distracting having the chat moved now, but I'll figure it out. Oh! Interesting, a smell, a nice smell, like use a candle. Basically like, a, base, so your tip is basically like avoid uh, distractions and stay concentrated. That's a good tip. Um, it kind of goes with the other one, so I'll kind of put that one together with the other one. Uh, but that could also work as our 10th tip. Um, yeah, because basically we also want to say like you want a loose grip, not like a loose grip. But you just don't want too tight of a grip. That's, I think, the most important thing there is that when you're crocheting, trying to crochet fast, you often will crochet like too tightly. And so I would say that the good tip would be to like have like a candle, things like that, like soothing music will keep you calm to not crochet too tightly. Because while you want to crochet fast, you don't want to crochet bad. And you don't want to hurt yourself. Why are we're, we're suggesting these tips? Because someone asked how, like, any tips on crocheting faster. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's a great idea for a video. Not to mention just to like give good tips, Kema. Yeah, Nina Nina wanted to know how to crochet faster. I think that's how it started. And I just think that's such a fun idea for a video. One and two, like that. Okay, now we need to add a nose and I am pro doing a black nose to match the stripes. You know, I think it'll look more bumblebee-y. So let's give that a shot. If I don't like it, we'll try a different color. Yeah, we can do another hint. Um, let's see, what were our hints so far? Let's see, we did... Hint number one was, uh, 
It was an animal. Yes, it's an animal. Um, hit number two was... Um, yeah, I think a black nose works pretty well. Let's see, when the ears are on... Yeah, I think a black nose works. Um... I have seen that pattern. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Hit number two was that it's stinky. That's what it was. Animal. It's a stinky animal. It um, is a carnivore. That was a hint. I remember that one. Um, let's see, was that all the hints that I have so far? Did I give any other hints? Let me know. Anyhow, let's do a new hint. A new hint is going to be, on, I'm trying to clean up this ditches a little bit. There we go. A new hint could be, oh, it's a mammal. That's right, that's right. That was one hint too, that it's a mammal. Thank you, Zoe. Yeah, yeah, that's me, Crescendro. I am currently buffering. Um, <laughs> another hint uh, is, um, They are a solitary animal. They are a solitary animal. They do not like living together in groups. They like being alone. That's a good hint. Honestly, there's only so many um, options here on the giveaway where I think, I think you have enough to figure out what it is. Um, obviously, I have a few more. I've got a few, like, big, big hints. But those are some good starts. How many total hints will I do? I don't know. I think I've given you more than enough hints, to be honest, but it's fun to give hints, you know? Is that the last hint? No, that won't be the last one. I'll probably give a few more. But I do think you have enough to figure it out. Um, I could, yes, I think I can check the live stream. The problem is my phone that I use to check the live stream it, or to check the discord is uh, currently being used as the cat cam. So I can't really check it right off the bat right now. So I might be able to use this one, but I think it's dead. Yeah, this one's dead. So let me plug it in. So, and I actually don't know if I even have discord on this phone so it's gonna take a second but I should get that set up for next time so next time I'll try to get something set up ooh milf and crochet has good you're on a good track there I will say that I think that raccoons are not really solitary animals though they kind of like hang out together, you know? Although I've seen a raccoon by itself. One time in San Francisco, a raccoon uh, went on our fire escape, which was right outside of the window of my office. Like literally I sat next to the window and it came up and fell asleep in a planter that I had right outside the window and just fell asleep there and was asleep all day. Just like less than a foot away from me. I could like touch it if I opened the window, but I didn't want to obviously. And I just, I, I didn't get anything done that day. I just stared at a raccoon for like 24 hours. <laughs> it was, it was great. I love raccoons. Personal fave. All right, there's the top, or there's our head of our bunny made. So we're actually almost done with this bunny. And there's this little 
fluff of fur. That looks pretty good. All right, let's keep crocheting. We just have, um, I believe we just have one or two more rounds. We gotta do, we gotta, can't forget about the bunny tail though. A dinosaur bunny. That could be an idea. Dino bunny. Dino bunny. It's not a bad idea. Three. That's pretty good. Ooh, Crochandra knows what it is. Oh, do we do a cottontail or a stinger? That's a good question, Zoe. You know what? Let's do this as a I like that. I like I like your brain. We're going to do a stinger by doing a spiked bobble instead of a regular bobble. That way it'll be a little pointier cottontail. A mix of the two. See how this looks. The question is, will it work? Yeah, I think that looks pretty cute. Yeah, so clever. You're so clever. That's a great idea. We're just here to make Zoe's ideas come to life. I bet you do. Uh, all right. You just submitted it. All right. Congratulations, Ivy. I, good luck. We'll announce the winner, by the way, uh, at the end of the stream. So you have a little bit of time. We're going to make one more bunny at least three so yeah i think we can finish up one more bunny oh i just realized i forgot to do increases in a round oopsies oopsies i forgot something did i increase increases for... yeah i think our bunny here is a little taller than they're supposed to be yeah i did an extra round. Let me look at the pattern here. I'm pretty sure I did an extra round. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, this yellow round shouldn't be there. Okay, we gotta go back. Hold on. This is a pretty easy fix though. We'll just have to do that spiked, that bobble again. But essentially, I made our guy a little too tall. There we go. It's not the biggest deal, though. Let's do it again! There we go. What's up, Jimbo? Jimbo has a lot to say. Yeah. He's frustrated that we're not hanging out with him. A hornet hair? <laughs> That's funny. There we go. There we go. Okay. Pretty much back to it now. Okay. Problem solved. Easy problem to solve. Much cuter anyhow. Can we name the Mohawk Bunny? Yeah, definitely we can name the Mohawk Bunny. What do you know want to name it? What do we want to name it? Let's try to get a consensus in the chat. So what would we name our Mohawk Bunny? 
get some good ideas in, in the chat going. Ooh, Jill asks, in the pattern for the bunny ears, do we do the double crochet and half double crochets in the same stitch? I tried doing that, but I had one stitch left for the single crochet two together, so I must be doing it wrong. Yes, you are correct uh, in that you do not do that in the same stitch. So um, for the bunny ears, every stitch gets their own uh, chain to work into. So you do not work a half double crochet in the same stitch as a double crochet. Um, yeah, the only part you kind of like do two stitches in the same spot is with the single crochet two together. You kind of use two different stitches, but together. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, does that help out, Jill? Or I'm sorry, you're not Jill. Your, your name is not Jill. It starts with an R, I think, or C. I need a key. <laughs> or, you know, a better memory. A better memory would be good. Charlotte! Bonsoir! Ça va? Ça va bien? One, two, and three. Money. Ooh, Money the Mohawk Bunny. That's a good name. That's a really good name, Krishandra. I like that one a lot. Celia. See, I knew it. Start with a C. Celia. Celia. Celia, Celia, Celia. Remember, remember. Celia like cereal. That'll work. <laughs> Does anybody else do like little things like that? I have um, I have this burrito place that's near our house, and um, and there's this kid that works there, and I went in and. He was like, hey, Louie, how are you doing? And I was like, oh my gosh, you remembered my name. He was like, yeah, of course. You're, you're in here like at least like twice a week. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm going to remember your name now. What's your name? And then he told me and I was like, okay, his name is Isaac. And I was like, Isaac, 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 like Asimov, Isaac Asimov. And then I got home and I was like, Isaac Asimov to Jules to remember. And she was like, she was like, why didn't you just say like Newton? Isaac Newton. And I was like, oh, because I'm not a smart man. <laughs> That's a better one. Celia. Happy Easter to you as well, Charlotte. I have to say, hey, Charlotte, you have one of my favorite names of all time. I love the name Charlotte. I think it is the, just an adorable name. 10 out of 10. Have I ever done a fox pattern? I don't think I've ever written it down as a pattern, but I've definitely made one. Boom, boom. <laughs> You're welcome, Celia. I am, I will do my bestest. I am notoriously really bad with names. In fact, I've gotten in trouble a few times. One time I had a friend um, uh, in San Francisco that we would meet up with them all the time and, and I'd be like, uh, basically one time I, I, we were getting drinks with some friends and, and these other friends showed up. Uh, their names are Mark and Sarah. But at the time, I wasn't 100% sure that this person's name was Sarah. And so I didn't want to look like a doofus and say their name wrong. But because I didn't know, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't want them to think that, like, I assumed they didn't remember my name too, basically. So I went up and I went like, hey, uh, the name's Louie, just to remind you. And she goes, yeah, I know your name. We've met each other like eight times. 
do you not remember my name? And I was like, um, <laughs> she just called me out hardcore. She was like, dude, we've met each other so many times. My name is Sarah. Don't forget it again. And I was like, you got it. I won't forget it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Uh, and yeah, ever since then, I've been really trying not to forget names, but I'm just so bad at remembering names. Good. All right, one more round to go. I think we got this little black thread in there that we do not want. So let's see if we can't try to get it out. Come on. Let's see where it's having some trouble. There we go. Fixed. I think that was probably one of like the, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that was one of like the most embarrassing, not most embarrassing, but very embarrassing moments for me. Uh, Krishandra wants another hint. Man, Krishandra, you are just, just trying to dig for those hints. Let me finish this bunny first and then I'll give you another hint. Um, by the way, we haven't had a lot of suggestions for our Mohawk Bunny name other than Money. And I do like the name Money the Mohawk Bunny. So currently that is in the lead in my brain. How do you guys feel about that? There we go. Okay, we just need to stuff it a little bit and so it closed. Oh, shoot, I forgot about the wings. What a goof I am. All right, so we gotta sew these wings on too. And we gotta somehow sew these wings on and double knot it on the inside in a safe way. So how are we gonna do that yet? I don't know. We're gonna figure it out, will we? We're also gonna sew over the seam here so that it hides a little bit better. We'll go right there and we'll go right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it couldn't be a raven on account of I did say that it was a mammal. Would that be too close if I do one there and one there? Probably not. Let's try it. Gosh, I don't know if this is going to work as far as the double knotting part goes. But we'll find out. Yeah, I think that's too close. We're going to have to do one over right here. What is a carnivore? A carnivore is an animal that eats meat. Whereas like a vegetarian is an animal that doesn't eat meat or a person that doesn't eat meat. How's that looking? Yeah, that's a good spot for it. I think that's a good spot. Okay, so I'm just gonna double knot this one and then we'll find the spot for the next one. We'll make it work. We're gonna have to double knot this really tight. Just to really make sure everything's sewn in right. And our 
B wings don't come apart. All right. Nice, nice. Look at that. Problem solver. One wing on. Just like the one wing bee buzz around, just like he's buzzing. Zzz, baby. Zzz. Buzz. Wow, I'm amazing. <laughs> Amazing and humble. The best of both worlds. Let's go with this stitch and this stitch. Or this stitch and this stitch. Actually, this one and this one is probably better. Yeah, we'll try these ones. Is there a way to buy the yarn in certain colors without buying the whole kit? Not yet. I'm trying to get that going. The problem with doing that right now is that I only have so much um, materials. Like, I basically am running out of yarn. Um, so I need to purchase more yarn. And uh, it, I, I have to, like, purchase a lot of it at once. And it's a lot cheaper for me to purchase yarn in kits than it is for me to purchase it individually in balls of yarn because of the storage system. Um, so, like, basically, it will be an option. I just am not exactly ready to open that up yet. So, I, I'm working on it, though. I, I really am working on it. And I should be able to, I'll, like, open it up to purchasing specific colors of yarn very soon. Um, I think it's going to basically be a color pack option. Like, you can choose your colors. And it'll be exclusive for... Probably be like exclusive for members when I first start it, um, just because I, I don't have a lot of inventory. And um, I also like, I don't terribly want to sell the yarn individually because I want, I need to use it for kits. So I don't want to like use up the inventory and then have to buy a bunch of new inventory just in time for a kit and stuff. So um, yeah, does that kind of make sense? The answer to your question is soon, soon. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Sorry. Um, actually, it might be an omnivore. It actually might be an omnivore. I'm not... <laughs> I, I, I know it eats meat, though. I think it exclusively eats meat, but it probably eats, like, berries every now and then. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't a wild animal. I'm a tamed animal. I like bread and cheese. Which, as we all know, means I'm a tamed animal. All right, let's add our magnets in. We got our honey buddy crow oh shade. Okay, so it is technically an omnivore, Cooper says. Because Cooper's pretty sure they know what animal it is. Honey the bunny, the bumblebee bunny, he's honey. Honey, the bumblebee bunny. Look at that, I wrote a I wrote a theme song for our new friend. Our new friend who is now to be finished in just a moment. Ba ba da ba 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 little bumblebee. Ba ba da ba is gorgeous what a gorgeous bunny rabbit look at that oh my gosh that's really cute <laughs> that's really cute i love it i love it he's got his little spiky tail and of course we've got our magnets there we go we got two two done Ichimo. All right, what uh, what are we making next, by the way? What kind of what kind of we got one more to make? Um, someone said a dinosaur one, and I I do think that's kind of fun. 
How would we do that? We'd have to do like spikes. Mm, maybe we could do something different. Any other ideas? A carrot bunny. Okay, Twiz. Twiz nailed it. First shot right off the bat. Good job, Twiz. Good job. You're a genius. Hope you're happy. You're a genius. I love the idea of a carrot bunny. We're gonna do a green tail and a green top. Or we just do a green top, we do an orange tail. Or maybe we do a white tail. We definitely are gonna do green hair though. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They kind of already look like peeps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess not really. I love peeps. I love peeps. Boom, 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 boom. Green ears? No, I don't think green ears. I think that would look too weird. Like they look too different than the body. I think green, like a green big tuft of hair at the top. You know, kind of like this one, but just like just like a big tuft of hair. Or a green tail. But definitely a green nose, too. But I don't think green ears. I think green ears is just too much. It'll it'll I think it'll pull away from the bunny look. Peeps on fire are amazing, says Tim. What are you talking about? What is happening here? Caramel coated marshmallows. Wow. Peeps on fire. I mean, you gotta wait for them to be not on fire anymore though, right? Or do you eat them while they're on fire, you crazy cat? Tim's wild. Tim likes eating fire. Three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, that's crazy. I do not like my marshmallows burnt. I like them browned at most. Golden brown at most. Sometimes I just like them warm, though. Honestly, I like when it comes to s'mores, I just like the marshmallows. I do like s'mores. I almost made a s'more uh, for the seasonal kit, actually. That was one of the... That was one of the options for patterns that never got made. Um, there was a few of them actually. So there were s'mores. There was, uh, I was gonna do um, a cinnamon bun. That was a big goal. And a croissant was a big goal. But they just didn't happen. I just didn't have the, honestly, I just didn't have the time. I had to make decisions. I'm sorry, what if I just, say again? What if I did these as individual patterns, Nina? What do you mean by that? Do you mean the bunnies? What if I did these bunnies as individual patterns? I suppose I could. It's a pretty easy individual pattern to do. I mean, they're basically just all the same pattern though. The only big difference is the bumblebee bunny has wings. Other than that, they're pretty much going to be the same pattern. I'm just using the B pattern as their base. I mean, sorry, the, the, not the B pattern, the, come on, I can, I, I got this. The bunny pattern as their base. Okay. Oh. 
I love the carrot idea too because I don't think I've made one of these bunnies that's orange. So it'll be fun to have an orange one. Also, my mom grows carrots, so I might be able to hide one near her carrots. Does she grow carrots? I think they do. Although it's going to be raining this weekend, so I might need to like avoid hiding any of them outside. I've never hidden them outside, though. So maybe that's a good option for making sure they don't find it. Do you think this is enough yarn? Maybe. We're going to try. We're going to try to make a bunny with just that much yarn. It, it, we are going to be playing yarn chicken on this bunny. On this carrot bunny. A carrot chicken bunny. Oh, what if we did those as individual patterns? Yeah, I just don't, I, you know, at this point we need to move on. Um, the, the season is coming to a close and it, I just don't have enough time to make those patterns for the season. I've got to start focusing on the next season. Um, that's kind of like, honestly, a pro and a con of these seasonal kits is that um, it gives me time during that season to focus on patterns on that season specifically. Uh, but... It means that after a season's over, it, I have a really hard time, you know, dedicating extra time to those, to patterns that are for that season. Um, I've got to kind of like, you know, I've, I've got to, I've got to make um, patterns for our space season now. So it, it's just like time to shift gears, basically. Um, but I've got a few more patterns coming up for this season. So there's a few more coming. This is a big season though, honestly. Like I don't think, don't expect as many patterns coming out for seasonal kits as we did this season. It was just a very inspiring season. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so it's a little longer of a season too. So we've had a lot of, a lot of patterns. All right, here, let the yarn chicken beginning. Big good egg in the beginning. Okay, and this is going to be our last bunny that we're crocheting today, by the way. So after this, we're going to do, uh, we're going to announce our giveaway. So we need to maybe talk more about that hint. Let's see. So far, we've got the hints are they're an animal. They're a carnivore. They're a mammal. They're stinky. They're, um, oh, we got to do crazy eyes with this too. I've, I almost forgot. We got to do crazy eyes on this carrot bunny. Um, there, let's see, a mammal, those stinky, uh, what was the other ones? It's hard to remember. I'm sorry. Um, because I'm making them up as I go. Oh, but they're probably not a carnivore. They're probably an omnivore. Ah, oh, yes, they're solitary. Thank you, Zoe. They're solitary, meaning they usually are by themselves. So those are your hints so far. Let's see. I do have a few more, though. Um... I could try to pretend, you know what? I could try to do the sound that this animal makes. I could try that. Oh, look at that. Funky smell is, we are, our brains are one funky smell. Uh, you're, you're a genius. Um, yes, so let's try to make the, the sound that this makes. So the sound this animal makes, I think, I think the closest I can get to it is like, Pretty sure that's a sound that they make. 
For those who know what I what animal we are talking about right now, let me know in the chat if you think that I did the sound correctly. I'm pretty sure I actually did a pretty good job. <laughs> oh my gosh, Zoe, I am so sorry. I've been calling you the wrong name forever. You gotta, you gotta call me out on that shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> call me out on that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so sorry. I, I, you know, I, I thought that also, but I was like, well, she's never corrected me. My bad, my bad big time. And that goes for everybody in the, in the chat. If I ever say your name wrong, um, please let me know. Keep me, keep me, uh, yeah. Let me know. <laughs> and I'll do my best. Also, I'm sorry if I start saying it wrong again. Because that could happen. Okay, so. We got one, two, three, four, and then an increase. Here. Our carrot bunny is coming along just great. <laughs> yeah. Five, six, and then our increase. <laughs> hey, Louie, how you doing? We got another Louie in the chat. We got to stick together, Louie. Us Louis gotta stick together. There's dozens of us! Dozens! Yo, Louis, is your name actually like Louis spelled L O U I E? Or is it L O U I S and then you go by Louis with an E? I've met one person that his name actually was Louie with an E at the end, and I was like, what? <laughs> I've never heard anybody actually being named Louie with an E. That being said, I have a friend, uh, the, actually the web designer, um, the designer of clubcrochet.com, um, who helps to make everything that's awesome on the website. Their name is Jimmy. Just straight up Jimmy. <laughs> There's no... It's not short for anything. Their name is just straight up Jimmy. Isn't that crazy? Have you ever met someone just named a nickname and that's their name? If you have, let's talk about it. Cool, it's Luis, but everyone calls you Louie. Yep, yep. I used to go, when I was in um, high school, everyone called me Louis. Uh, that was what I went by for the longest time. And then uh, when I started college, I went away and just started telling everybody my name is Louie. And then ever since then, everybody just calls me Louie. And uh, honestly, I like Louie a lot. It feels more like who I am. Um, but my family still calls me Louis. Uh, or Lou. Yeah. Lou Bega, every now and then. I got a friend that calls me Lou Bega. Loops. Actually, a lot of people just call me Loops, too. But that's kind of, you know, even more of a nickname. All right, we're doing crazy eyes. We want one eye that's big and one eye that's little. So here's our little eye. And oh, here's the locking mechanism. Here's our big eye. Another locking. All right. <laughs> your, your brother's name is Jimothy then. I call Jimbo Jimothy all the time. 
Let's do a big eye on this side, like this. And then the little eye on this side. I like the idea that they're facing different ways. I do think, like, of the vegetables, what do you think is the craziest vegetable? You know, like, like we're making a, currently making a carrot, carrot bunny. So those would be, like, our carrots, if a, if a carrot was an, uh, anthropomorphized, would it be crazy? What vegetable do you think is the craziest of vegetables. Wow, wow. That does look crazy. Love it. I would say maybe, um... Ooh, Nina, I like that idea. What if Jules, me and Jules had a knitting versus crochet contest and you pick a pattern and race? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'd win just because crochet is way, way quicker. But what she makes are often much much more beautiful than what I make often always much more beautiful than what I make she's a very pretty knitter pretty knitter she makes some really cool stuff she's been working on a really cool um, t-shirt and a vest right now two different projects she makes a lot of projects though it just takes a lot longer for her to make them you know Potato, yeah. Potato would be crazy. For sure. Potato would be a psychopath. No doubt. Like, I feel like Potato would have, like, multiple personality disorder. Where they would be like, I'm a French fry. No. <laughs> they would have a French personality and a, and a southern personality for mashed potatoes. They'd have a hash brown personality for when they wake up. Yep, you're right. Potato would be crazy. Have I ever made a 10-foot animal? No, I haven't. I mean, I haven't crocheted something that is 10 feet long, if that's what you mean. I don't think I've crocheted anything bigger than... 5 or 6 feet. I think that's, no, five, no, no, not even that long. I think I haven't even crocheted something longer than four feet, probably. I get bored really fast of crocheting long projects. So I, I move on and, and start making something else really quick. But I pretty much never make anything that's like that big. Okay, we're gonna do a green nose match our hairdo plus we can use the tail ends from the green nose as the top for our hairdo so it's kind of a win-win situation there we go where did i put my green yarn there it is This is like a, it's like a, a bunny that's eaten way too much carrot to where they've become the carrot. Be the carrot. Zoe's name is actually Joey. <laughs> Zoe Joe. I have a, um, someone that's helping out on the website now. Uh, they're, they're kind of like a, um, they're kind of like, uh, like a, a manager a little bit, like a YouTube manager. They're, they're helping get like, um, it doesn't matter. Their name is Joe, but I've been calling them Joey and they have never corrected me. And I just hung out with um, a mutual friend of ours and he was like, yeah, you call him Joey all the time, but his name is Joe. And I was like, his name is Joe? Why do I call him Joey? And he was like, I don't know. I was like, why has he never told me? Why has, why do people not correct me? <laughs> so 
So now I feel like I've got I've got a special um uh <laughs> That's so funny. Zoe's partners in the chat <laughs> teasing her. Um uh Now I feel like I've got like a special nickname for for Joey that no one calls him except for me. And until he corrects me, I'm going to keep calling him it. I think I think he likes that we have a special nickname. I think that's why he hasn't corrected me. He's like, this is great. Me and Lou have a special nickname. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're going to do a pretty long carrot top so we're gonna go one there and we'll go one way up here and i might even add more to that to give it even more of like a you know carroty look let's go ahead and add our ears in We love the bunnies. What are the clues? Is it nocturnal? Ooh, that's a good question. Is it nocturnal? Um, I don't think they're nocturnal. I don't think they're not nocturnal. I don't really know, actually. That's a good question. I don't really know if they're nocturnal. I think they're nocturnal. There we are. There we are, get that stitches in there. Do I sound like a an explorer from the from the eighteen hundreds or something? Or the or the early nineteen hundreds? That's what we're aiming for. Like a like a safari explorer. Ah, yes. The carrot rabbit. A very difficult to find species. You can find them in Madagascar. And Zimbabwe. You know, like a really problematic uh, British explorer, basically. <laughs> I learned a lot about those in anthropology. That was my major in college, as I, I majored in anthropology. I'll tell you what, in anthropology, there are a lot of problematic white European explorers out there. Which, I mean, you know, are you surprised? They all look like the, the dad... Jane's dad from Tarzan. <laughs> Kate's comfy. Yeah, thank goodness. Is there a song about the animal? Oh, most definitely, Twiz. There's definitely a song about this animal. You know what the animal is, Twiz. You know what it is. Come on. We all know what it is, right? I think we know what it is. If you don't know what it is, believe in yourself. I believe in you. And I think you know what it is. Okay, our carrot bunny's really coming together. That looks pretty good. Just truly a chaos gremlin. I love chaos gremlins. Okay. Let's make our last bit here. And what do we think? Green tail or white tail? Cotton tail or green tail? Cotton tail or green tail? What do we think, you guys? I'm kind of pro green tail because we can also use the ends of those green yarns to go out the top to add more fuzzies. And, I mean, it looks like a bunny, you know? Like, I usually don't like to change the tail unless it looks like a bunny. So, like, this one looks like a bunny, so felt like doing a spiky tail makes sense. And it also kind of works with the white tail. Um, but I don't know. What do we think here? What do we think?
Have I ever been to college? Yes, I did go to college. I went to San Francisco, San Francisco State University. Yeah, okay, let's just do, um, let's, I'm just going to make the executive decision and go with a green tail. Because then we can use the tail ends and I think it works. Ivy says, wait. Oh, <laughs> they're talking about the song. Okay, let's keep crocheting. We gotta finish this bunny. Oh, I can't wait to hide these at my mom's place. You know, I, if when I go to hide these, I'm gonna try to do my best to record where they're hidden. To post a video on, uh, actually maybe I can post one on April Fool's Day. That'd be smart. Oh wait, we need a long end. There we go. How much yarn do we have left? Oh my gosh, you guys, we're gonna run out of yarn. Oh, oh no. Our yarn chicken, we're gonna lose. Oh my gosh, we're gonna lose yarn chicken. No. Okay, I'll just have to grab some other orange yarn and replace it, but, oh, how big of a bummer is that? Let's see, maybe we can make it. I doubt it though. We'll see, we'll see how far we can get. Pretty sure we're about to lose though. Three. Four. It's the bobble stitches, they use so much more yarn. Yep, here it comes. Actually, maybe we could finish up the, this round first. What if you made whiskers the colors of the roots? We could do green whiskers. I don't know. I just, I, I, honestly, when I make these bunnies, I feel like whiskers is just too much. It just doesn't, it just ends up not looking right just because there's like a lot going on with it. But we can try. We can try whiskers. It's not going to hurt to try, and we can always get rid of them if we don't like them. Two. I think we can finish up this round, but I do think that we are gonna run out of yarn. Last foot. Might be the last of our yarn. One, two, three, one more, four, Boom. One and two. And look at that. That's as much, that's how much yarn we have left, which is not enough to finish it. Um, so before we finish up, we need to find some other orange yarn. We need to pull these threads through the top of our piece. Where in the white sti bobble stitches do you put the eyes? Or does it not matter? Um, it does matter. Uh, you can actually choose a few different spots you can put it. Uh, so usually what I do is I like split it into two different parts. Um, actually, if you want the... I would suggest checking out the video tutorial for this bunny while it's still free. Or checking out the video, video tutorial for the... Um, the... What's the, the, um, the burp, the pigeon burp video, which is a free tutorial also, um, has a lot like more in-depth instructions for how to place, like where to place eyes with those bobble stitch eyes. Let's go with that. That's pretty good. I think this long one is a little too long, just barely though. Okay, and we'll split the yarn, might as well. Make it more crazy. Yeah, there we go. 
All right, let me find some additional orange yarn to work with for our, uh, to finish up our bunny. So do I have orange yarn out is the question. Or have I used it all? Okay, we gotta use a new ball. New ball of orange yarn. I didn't wanna have to do that for this little bit left, but I'm out. You gotta do what you gotta do. So a new ball of orange yarn coming at us just to finish up this bunny. That's funny. That's a funny bunny. Okay, let's see how many stitches we can get to, though. Two, three. Four. See you later, Tig. I wonder if you'll win again. <laughs> Okay, that was the last stitch that I could use. Okay, gosh, we were less than like 12 stitches away. Wah, 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 wah. We lost our chicken game. go but we've changed colors everything's fine uh, I think fine is it to start a whole new ball of yarn or whatever beckon the bumblebee bunny beckon the bumblebee bunny chronicles of yarnia I love the name The carrot bunny with crazy eyes is appropriate with the myth that carrots help vision too. Oh my gosh, Tim, you're totally right. Yeah, that's great. I like that. I like that. That's funny. Looks like a truly chaotic bunny. Oh my God, my mom is going to love these bunnies. If she ever finds them. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hide them really, really well this time. Cause last time she found them in a day and I was like, ugh, I was hoping it would take you a month to find those. Like I'm aiming for a ridiculously long period of time of her being like unaware that there's bunnies. Usually, hopefully she's not watching this live stream because usually what I do is I, uh, I tell her there's more bunnies hidden than there actually are. <laughs> it's so funny because she's like, where the heck is the last bunny? <laughs> it's mean. <laughs> it's really mean, but it's so funny. But we'll see. We'll see how good I can hide them this time. I feel like I've taken all the best hiding spots. Honestly, the best hiding spot I've ever done that took her the longest to find was like in plain sight. It was like behind a plate in the kitchen that was like, I, I couldn't believe she didn't find it. It took her forever. And it was like right in front of her all the time. How long have I hid bunnies in my parents' house? It's only happened, uh, this is gonna be the third year. So, it is a it is a newish tradition tradition, but I love the tradition. It's so much fun. Ooh, that is a good spot, sunshine. Love that spot. 
Oh my gosh, I'm totally using that spot. That's gonna that, that's gonna drive her crazy. She won't find that ever. Maybe not behind, because that might be a little too like so difficult that she'll never actually find it, but close to that is a really good spot. Okay, last bit of these magnets. Um, and I do have one last hint for our giveaway because this is your last chance to enter the giveaway. So if you want to enter the giveaway, link is in the description. I'm going to choose a winner in just a moment. Uh, Crescendro, that is a great spot. Another great spot. Um, oh, in the refrigerator would be good too. That's good. Um, but on top of a ceiling fan, that's genius. Um, okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, she doesn't find them. They're dust bunnies. Okay, so the hints for the giveaway... Um, and if you can't get this animal right, that's on you. Uh, hint number one, it's an animal. Hint number two, it's stinky. Hint number three, it's a mammal. Hint number four, it's an omnivore. I thought it was a carnivore, but it's an omnivore. Uh, it, hint number five, I think, is um, that they are solitary animals. Um... Help me out, chat. What other hints have I given? Have I given any other hints? Um, here is a good hint. Uh, uh, oh, and then uh, the hint, another hint is that the sound they make is <laughs> something like that. Kind of. <laughs> kind of like that. Um, and then the last hint is that they are fantastic fantastic all right here's our adorable crazy carrot bunny all right let's take a good look at all these bunnies here's our adorable crazy bunny super cute green cottontail adorable magnetic of course oops the hard part is these magnets are like very, I'm only adding three in there. I really should add more. Let's get this more centered. There we go. Okay, so we got Carrot Bunny. We got our first Mohawk Bunny. Money the Mohawk Bunny. Love money. They're great. And then finally, our adorable bumblebee bunny or honey bunny um what did we call it not bernadette someone said they wanted me to name it something beckon beckon the bumblebee bunny i like that uh and oh i like that yes the carrot overdose it's like an overdose <laughs> like it's eating too many carrots love them okay and Let's get this challenge. Let's let's end the giveaway. Responses. Wow, guys, there was only thirty responses to the giveaway. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Um. Wow. So you have a pretty good chance if you got it right. Turn that off. Make the spreadsheet. Here we go. Oh yeah, almost everybody got it right. And. Okay, we need this bunny to help hold our friend up here. There you go. He's old. He needs he needs help standing up. And the answer to the giveaway was a. It's a little fox. Look at how cute this little dude is. A little fox bonimal. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And don't worry, I am trying to work on this as a pattern coming out soonish. So don't you worry. It is not a pattern yet, but it, I'm, I'm working on it. But look how cute they are. Oh my God, they're so cute. So cute. And the winner of our giveaway is, let's see, hold on. I need to do some fancy stuff here. Um, can I sort by name? There we go. Nice, okay. Yes, more than half the people got it right. So it's out of 16. Uh, 
All right. Okay, we have a winner. We have a winner ready, and uh, and they're here. I'm pretty sure. The winner is Funky Smell. Bah, 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 bah. Congratulations, Funky Smell. You won the giveaway. You've won a pin of your choice. I'm going to reach out to you after this live stream via email to get uh, the information of where to ship it. And uh, yes, the appropriate winner. I <laughs> love the emoji. Great choice. Uh, congratulations, Funky Smell. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm glad you won. And guys, thank you so much for joining the live stream. Please make sure to like this video down below. If we can get this video to 250 likes, we'll do another giveaway next live stream. So I went ahead and liked it on my side too. So I'm doing my part. Um, and you should do yours. Uh, okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will let you know how these hidden uh, bunnies go at my mom's place. I will keep you updated. Um, all right, guys. I'll see you guys next week. I think we're doing a next uh, another live stream next Friday. Um, I think we'll be doing a live stream for some uh, mochi, some Sakura mochi. Uh, this is going to be the new pattern coming out next week. If you want access to it, uh, it'll require a membership. At least for early access, will require a membership. So keep a lookout for this coming to the website next week. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, please consider supporting with a membership or by purchasing any kits or merch in the store and special thanks to uh our tipper of the day thank you so much cooper super duper appreciated super duper cooper see you guys pasta la pizza happy hooking and oh my god stop you hang up first oh my god you're gonna make me blush <laughs> turns out i'm the crazy bunny Turns out I'm the psychotic bunny. Too many carrots. All right, bye guys.